Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by. My name is Travis, and this is Travis Does Kayak Fishing. Today, I'm fishing UKA Event 2 on Lake Bowen. Sadly, I missed Lake Murray. I overslept a little bit, and this is a club to where if you're not there to check in and launch at the right time, there's no coming in late. You're DQ'd. Uh, you can't even sign up. But today's the event. I'm out on Lake Bowen with them, and last year this lake was absolutely brutal. It was like 29 degrees to start the day. The wind was blowing. It was rainy, and we're talking like 30 mile per hour dust. I didn't have the proper attire. It was miserable. I caught one fish and had to leave immediately after it was over because I was soaked. I want today to be different, but the wardens have already st a sticker checked me. I do have my vessel registered, but it takes like six months to get the stickers back from Columbia. But Bowen charges like 250 some odd dollars or something to register a motorized kayak. And we're not doing that to fish this lake once per year. So I took the motor off and we're doing it by pedal today. My real focus is trying to be more quiet while I'm fishing. So I've gone with a lighter line, I'm using a bait caster, I've gone with a lighter shaky head, and I've gone with a smaller zoom shaky head worm just for the day. I want to practice good technique, and to me, that means subtle raising the rod. Uh, going from 9 o'clock position on up to no more than 11.30, and going slow with the occasional wiggle and just letting the bait soak there and sit for a minute to see what takes it. We got 12 and a quarter. Let's get them back, see if we can get more. Again, the mission is ninja stealth. Try not to make a sound with the lure. Got to be subtle and efficient. Nine o'clock. In. 11 inch, 11.15, 11 11.30, back down, hook. I got 13 and three quarter. We need one more and we got a limit. We're in. You want to come over here? Yep. I got it. There's a limit. Let's get him back, see if we can find more. I'll put the link to this color I'm using down in the description. It's a hard one to find, 
Unfortunately, it's not my 4.7 rollers, but I need to go smaller today. So this is a 4.75 inch shaky head. Bowen is a lake that's not known to have big fish. And when you're doing that, and it's a high pressure lake like Bowen is, you need to do something different. So I'm not going with a standard trick worm. I'm going with a smaller, super finesse shaky head worm from Zone. He's a kicker. That's my fourth one on this stretch. I ain't going nowhere. Are you fishing this? Are you fishing this? Lay downs over off the rocks. Anything coming out in about 12 to 14 foot, I'm just dragging down the side of them. Are you fishing this? Dude, come over here. What are you doing? I'll give you the lore I got, bro. No, that's all right, man. Hey. That I don't I don't do that weird stuff, dude. I, <laughs> you're my buddy. I want you to win. Right. Get that one guy, that guy. So that's a good fish. Let's see if we can't get another kicker or two. Right, this is a fantastic start, gentlemen. We got all day to go. I got a limit, and I have hardly fished anything. I know this is a lake people struggle at, so any limit's a good chance here. I love working riprap. Pretty good start to the day, man. I don't think he's gonna kick, but. No, he's not a kicker, guys. Let's get him back. We need bigger. We're looking to upgrade to an average of 15. We get 45, we'll go in third place, probably. Let's keep working down the bottom with this. Houdini trick worm. It's got, I said orange earlier, but yeah, it's more, oh no, there's orange, it's a gold. There's a gold, black, red, and it's like a watermelon color. Maybe that's a good one. Ah, fuck. Baby. Travis does kayak fishing his own today. I think he'll get going. I feel like this day is just such a perfect example of when you're paying attention to your technique, kick the small going through the processes, inches. and being mindful and asking yourself. What is going on? Why is it going down this way? It pays off. 
focus on fishing and not the women and let everything else take care of itself. On today, gentlemen. I am on today. Man, he almost got free. I believe elite anglers average about 17 inches or better per fish every event. I'm nowhere near that today on Bowen. To tell you i am having an absolute blast today this is the most fun fishing i've had so far this year all right guys it's a decent one there man let's just keep fishing and keep having fun right come on today gentlemen by this point the game warden the sticker check me twice on the day and i'm tired of it Nobody cares. Oh. oh. I don't care. We'll bother somebody else. Can't keep harassing somebody and then think they're gonna be nice to you. That said, I probably could have been a little nicer. Yeah, I caught eight. Today? Yeah. Just a shaky head. Yeah, just throw it out there, let it sink, and wiggle it every couple of, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds, and I'll take it. You gotta remember to start plugging my channel at moments like that. I had a feeling when I rode up here and saw the water was standing more than the rest, I was gonna find a fish. I love it when they do that wiggle down really fast thing and you can see them cutting the water. Yeah, baby, that's a good fish. Cooking, baby. Cooking! That's a good bow on fish, everybody. If you catch a 16 and three quarter inch bass on Bowen, you've got a good fish. So 16 and three quarter inch guy. Let's get him back. Ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely filling it out there. Bowen has never been good to me, and Bowen has a history of having fish kills. Whether by accident or on purpose, it happened. 14, guys. But they've killed off their fish multiple times.
I'm probably gonna go to the very back and work some lay downs. You getting on them? I'm not going to the back of the creek. That guy's bank fishing, and I don't want to interrupt his small path he had, but I, I got the film. There's probably going to be some good fish back in there. I went about 100 yards in front of the, the angler that was fishing around the corner, so I didn't impede on the, the saddle that he was trying to fish in there between the little hump that's offshore and the rock line and realized my line was acting funny. It was actually broke. No way. My line's broke. Ain't no way I got a kicker with a broke line. Yeah, I did. That might be my favorite catch of the year so far. Oh, We're just awesome. what a fun day. Like things like that make fishing so wild, so dynamic, so diverse. Every time you go out, it's just so much fun. How do you account for your line being broke and you manage to pull in a fish as you're retrieving the slack? And a kicker That's fish wild. at that. Every bit of my line broke off and I grabbed it as he was running with it. That was wild. He's a kicker. All right, guys. Let's get that one back and see if we can get one more kicker. You caught a bunch? This is Cam, the tournament director. Me and him decided to take a minute and just talk. Uh, it's our first time seeing each other this year, but we you talked know, about A squared, 4 7. Zoom you know, just kind of did a lore swap, lore comparison. Talk about each other's yeah, day, where we're at, and at this here. point, he's That's looking to kick out one of his 13s and hopefully put him in the money. He's, he's actually behind man size at this point. However, as soon as I left, he called me and told me he had just caught a 17 inch. By my calculation, I need to land a good fish. Losing fish in a I've lost is three such a good steep fish tournament. today. And it has All to three of those fish today. I've lost. Every time was a, a loose hook set. One day I'll learn my lesson. Losing on fish in a tournament is such a steep lesson, penalty. It's a tough lesson, man. I, on a day I, like I, today, I was able to pinpoint what it was. Yeah. When I felt the one get heavy because these fish were just picking it up and holding it, some of the bigger ones, I wasn't hook setting. I was just reeling. I really needed to set the hook when I felt the weight on them as opposed to waiting for a tug. Get out of the water. Do the weigh in and see how everything went. I had a pretty good day catching them. I don't think I'm gonna catch anything. I'm thinking I'm somewhere around that 44, 45 inch range, which is a good day actually for UK. That's pretty good. That that's capable of catching. I just don't think it's today. I think people are gonna have you know up to 50. I think 50 will take it. I think 45 to 40 at 49 will probably round it down. So let's go see who won, and I'm excited. This was so much fun. It's the first time I've come to Bowen and had a blast. My third trip here, the only time I've really had a good time. So thanks for coming, guys. That shaky head was magic today, right? I got a video coming for you on tips to catch more fish with it. You're going to like it. So how did we end up faring? At the end of the day, Johnny Santos came in first. He managed to go on a tear. He only caught four fish, but three of those fish were combined at 54 inch. In second place was Cam, the tournament director who reeled in the 17 inch the moment we parted ways. He was able to bring in that 17 inch fish and leap ahead of me by a couple of inches. That really helped him out there and good on him. He deserves it. 
Third place is Michael Duran, the Dog Dinger, a channel regular, somebody you guys know and talk about him from time to time. He was able to come in and finish half an inch above me to wedge me out. So, I finished fourth place out of 19 competing anglers on a high pressure Lake Bowen and absolutely just had a blast. I couldn't ask for a better experience. I love the grassroots feel of these clubs and the way Cam runs this club and UK in general. And I'm just so happy to see the guys, Gary, Tim, Kyle, uh, Deontay, every, everybody there that shows up at these events, even if I didn't remember to mention you. I'm always so happy to see you guys and I look forward just seeing you guys, I believe it's May 7th on Lake Cooley. I'll put the, the information down in the description. And if any of you guys are looking for a club to come fish with, bring your $20 for entry, $5 for big bass, and it's your last chance to get in for AOI. Bring 15 for that and fish with Upstate Kayak Anglers, the best grassroots club in the Upstate. Thanks, guys. Y'all have a good one. Hey, while you're here, YouTube thinks you'll like the video on the left. I really like the playlist on the right. And if you like what you saw, go ahead and give me that subscribe if you don't mind. Thanks, guys and gals. Y'all have a good one.